Today we're going to be going over the Sneedjet Titan software layout. This is the main screen. You notice you've got a print preview right here, nice and large, with a ruler all around the sides to let you know how large everything is. And this is what it should look like when it prints. Scrolling message along the top letting you know to not remove the cartridge with the unit uh, in print mode. And then when you take it out, make sure to put the cartridge in the print clip. Uh, top button here, we've got edit. This is going to take you into your message editor. Uh, where you can add text, time, serial number, image, barcodes, uh, QR codes, DM codes. Um, you've got your save and save as over here for your uh, direct copy or uh, creating a copy. Uh, your position on the uh, text over here. You've got your uh, other accessible features such as your file manager. That's going to allow you to select a file, load a file, edit a file, delete a file, or even copy a file, and then select where you're picking the file from, your local or your uh, USB or US, U-Disk. Uh, over here, we've got your print test. If you select print test, that's going to load a nice large message uh, for, for testing. Uh, and so we'll go back out to your main screen here. You've got your settings. Settings, we've got print, system, counter, remote update, and about device. This is your print settings, your style tab where you'll make most of your changes. Your spray setting, uh, this is where you'll adjust your parameters for firing. Uh, also your advanced setting, if you're using one of the larger Titan series, uh, you'll have those uh, offsets. This is where you'll set up your repeat count and your uh, repeat spacing, your interval. And if you have a UV lamp, this is where that'll come in. All right, over here you've got your system. This is where you'll set your language, your date and time, adjust your backlight. Uh, if you uh, need to adjust the screen, you can calibrate that, import a font, or reset the whole system. This is your counter menu. You've got all your different counter settings in here, values, initial value, repeat count, step value, and your maximum uh, for both counter one and counter two, and your main print count for the whole system. Here you've got your remote update, only if you needed to update the system would you use that. And then we've got your about device screen. This is going to deliver your OEM ID uh, and your ink ID as well as your system version, which you'll also find on the main screen, software version for what's running it, and your hardware, this is your serial number. If you have a cartridge inserted, that information will be reflected there. If you have any other questions, feel free to check out some of the other videos on the Sneedjet Titan. Or give us a call at 833-926-3464. Thanks and have a great day.